The ANC's deployment committee spoke with ministers ultimately postponing the appointment of chief executive officers of state-owned enterprises including ESCOM and the SAA as disclosed in the publicly available cover deployment record. The minute stated that in 2018, compliance difficulties were the reason for the notable delays in the CEO appointment processes, which was also made clear by the records. ESCOM needed a CEO when the deployment committee decided to approve the move, according to minutes of a meeting conducted in March 2018 at the ANC headquarters, Lutuli House, on the 10th floor. Public records indicate that while Vuyani Jarana resigned from SAA in June 2019 over concerns about funding and how the airline's turnabout strategy was being deployed by lengthy discussions making processes, Andy the writer was ultimately appointed CEO of ESCOM Group in December 2019. Additionally, according to the data, the Deployment Committee reconvened in November 2020 to talk about the board appointments at ESCOM and SAA. According to the minutes, the committee met over a Zoom call on November 30th to talk about the issue. According to DA Member of Parliament, Leon Schreiber, the documents show how the Cabra Deployment Committee aided the demise of ESCOM and SAA. The documents include minutes from meetings, emails, chats on WhatsApp, resumes, and ANC's cadre deployment guidelines from 2018. A list of consented resumes and the complete resumes was sent to Gordon on May 18, 2018 for this review. This comes after the committee decided to send the names of those who wanted to be deployed. The meeting was arranged on numerous days that saw no progress and the procedure was delayed. Shriver asserts that the deployment committee's delays were only a ploy to keep Gordon from designating the CEOs. The 1,177-page ANC deployment record, according to Schreiber, demonstrated how the party illegally tempered with appointments all around the state. According to the minutes, the committee met over a Zoom call on November 30th to talk about the issue. Schreiber stated that since the ANC had admitted on record that they had interfered with the process, there was nowhere to run and they could not play victims. In the meantime, the DA's attempt to have the ANC's cadre deployment program ruled unlawful and unsuccessful. This Wednesday, the Pretoria High Court denied their application along with costs. It promised to challenge the court's decision. On Friday, the DA will go over some of the information that surfaced from the deployment documents in a media briefing. The ANC praised the court's decision and said that the DA's application was both hypocritical and legally questionable. In addition, the party demanded that all political parties download the documents in order to be in complete control of their deployments. For this and much more from Southern TV, be sure to leave your comment about the matter in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more updates.